So welcome back to Jokmok. In this video I'm going to show you what happened when the tour end and before next tour start. I just arrived back home after four days on the train with the family and in three days I'm taking off with a new group. This tour was really hard for the dog with all the ice that freeze under the sleds. Do you recognize this? This is the thing that you're using for uh, taking away color when you want to paint, repaint the window or when you want to repaint some, something. Then you use this for taking away the old painting or yeah, the old paint. And this is really good for taking away ice from skis or from sleds and also actually uh, scratching the plastic under to make it more flat if you have been running it into stones and things like that. You can you can really take it like this and really make the ski the plastic flat again. Very often I get the question by people, how could you manage to make tour after tour after tour? How will your body manage that? Isn't it hard for the body to always be on the trail? And I had to tell you one thing, the life on the trail is usually less hard than the life between the tours. Well then you're standing here, you're pulling up. Now I've done the whole day on the trail and it's still a lot of physical work back here at the kennel. Now my sleeping bag dried and stuffed. Right now it's time for picking up the sheet, cleaning the kennel and feeding the dogs. I have eaten some peanuts and drinking a glass of water so I'm ready for some more work. And I have started to pack up things inside. I didn't film everything, I was a little bit tired. So. Stina is already down here. So here you see the dogs. Hey, woman! Hey! And here is a lot of dogs that haven't been with me. No, 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 because now I had to go out here in the playground and searching for dog shit. And it looks like this. You see? Then you had to take this into the... Yeah, you understand the concept. Put the shit into this. Because even in the playground you need to get rid of the shit. Otherwise it will be shit all over the place. So you need to get rid of it before the dogs step in it. This is daily work every single day. And here we have a dog that has been at home. Do you want to have a chat with me, Elsie? Look at her. Hey, Elsie. You have to have to have to have to have to have to have 
Kiwi. All the dogs have got their food. Kiwi. We have collected all the bowls. All the dog shit is picked. And uh, now we just had to go indoor. And it's time for some uh, time for some dinner. Maybe a shower first. <laughs> shower and dinner. It's nine o'clock and it's time to eat. Dinner. Dinner nine o'clock in the evening, <laughs> finally. What are we going to have? We're gonna have Gnocchi alla Sorrentina. That will be good. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but... <laughs> so we're going to have some pasta thing and it's in the oven and now Stina take it out and then we're going to eat and then I switch off the camera. This is kind of early in the morning for me, early start. I'm on my way to the dentist in Arvidsjaur. It's <coughs> 170 kilometers south of Jokkmo. Two hour drive and uh, oh, I want to sleep. It's just after five o'clock and I've been driving a while. This is a way of life you get when you living in the countryside <clears throat> they got problem to find dentists who want to work in Jokmok right now some years ago we had a really really good situation but right now most of the people who want the dentist had to travel and it's fine for me because I'm still kind of young but it's worse for parents with a lot of children and it's worse for older people I don't know how they set up the situation for them so if you are a dentist listen to this and want to live in Jokmok apply for work I, even if you totally crappy dentist you probably will get the work <laughs> but it's close to Sarik National Park it's close to all the nice things out here so kind of good moment driving along this long roads listen to something drinking coffee or just having silent and thinking about something it's nice also <clears throat> I've been to the dentist. I get white teeth and they have uh, put a new filling in and um, checking everything. So I'm clear for next season. 
controlled and I got green card for the next season. So now let's rock and roll. This was a really, really, really good place to go to. I can really recommend you Jane Wiklund. I put something where I was. Very good dentist, and very good people working there. Everybody talk about that we should not drive so much car. I agree. But what I actually have to do here is uh, now I spend seven hours away from home because of going to the dentist. If um, I haven't had the car, I probably had to spend two days and sleep one night in Arvisjal. Or, yeah. So, if you live in the countryside, even in northern Sweden, you need a car. And okay, then you need a small car. Yeah, you can handle things with small cars, but we have big cars because we usually drive early morning when the roads are not super good, with the snow and so on. So, it sucks when you fill up gasoline, but it's a part of the life. It also sucks when you're thinking about global warming. Sweet home. <laughs> this is great. It's super nice to finally be back home again. Super nice. Now we just had to carry all the stuff into the house, make something to eat, and maybe rest a while. So right now Stina is on a three hour tour with four guests and while she's out there, it's minus 30 degrees cold out there, while she's out there I um, will open some package. This is interesting. This is a power bank, 10,000 milliampere. Nightcore make already one of the lightest power bank on the market. So I really enjoy them and this one is made for low temperature. This kind of head torch I enjoy because then I can have it hanging around my neck while I'm sleeping. I have it here during the day when I'm driving the dogs. It's always here when I'm on the longer tours. It should not be big. This is a little bit on the biggest. They could even be smaller than this, but uh, they should be small, hanging around your neck and then you use them for cooking. You use them when you go to the toilet in the night and things like that. Hmm. Wow, wow, <laughs> look, this is not bad. <laughs> Four 1400 lumen. I, I will keep you update if it's good or not. So now also Annie have joined this thing. She's so cute. And What's really important is to get some coffee. This is a snowshoe ski. <laughs> there is something you can prepare the skin with. And there is something you can prepare the plastic for gliding. This short one also don't have aluminium or iron on the side. So they are extra good for the dog. So you don't cut the leg of the dog.
this is how the tray looks when uh, I have been uh, making it. You see over there? Very good tray. There's a branch. What we doing here? I pulling this thing. Here is a kind of blade that one collect snow and rolling the snow so the snow crystals change the snow crystals get more less fluffy and the air comes away from the snow after that we have this that's called cloud plata uh, cladding plat no this is a thing that's pushing down the snow and afterwards it's like this this snow rolling change snow crystal flatten it and then it freeze because if you don't take away the, the snow air from the snow it will not freeze so this is how we prepare the trail for the shorter tours when we travel with heavy trails heavy sleds this is also a part of the trail system that we use in the beginning the starting during our overnight trips and four day trips So now back home again and maybe a cup of tea and look, Sina sitting there and editing a video. I think Rob is the best one if you want to keep it in a bottle like that because it's not getting destroyed while you out during a longer time it can be tea otherwise it will be strange flavor rubber tea in the bottle if you want to drink while driving so right now 22 25 below zero and i just had to take the snowmobile and open up trail transporting firewood So, uh, that was the final scene when I'm leaving for the mission on the trail. Uh, not running back and forward. Look, sunrise or sunset. Now I had to go before it gets dark. Get dark very soon. It was one or two elks crossing the trail. As you see, it's so many footprints here from elks. And I stopped the snowmobile here because there was elks over there. 
and you can see here how they have been walking around and eating and this winter I've seen much much more elk tracks here than I don't remember when I've seen so many tracks here footprints of them it's a lot here we have uh, shit from elk Alkas Alkas is a Latin name so the firewood I have here on my sled is for the cabin I also bring my skin base skis as safety if something happened with the snowmobile oh it's so cold and here is my camera bag it's from a company that's called companion bag it's a really really good bag I uh, will make a video about the gear I bring with me oh I need to put away the camera now walking around getting warm and um, then continue the snowmobile drive It's been so cold when I'm driving snowmobiles, so now I have a chance to get warm. So what I'm doing now, walking the trail to the toilet back and forward. Everything you can do when you're using your body it's actually something that increase your capacity until next time so push your limit now and then go walk, push up the pulse even if it's not necessary like now I could just continue but here I have a chance to walk maybe just 30 meters, 40 meters I do it several times and then my pulse pump up a little bit and uh, instead of just being lazy and gaining weight I use some energy and increase my oxygen capacity even if it's tiny and even if it's not really training it's something I do on daily basis and that keeps the level quite good I had to continue Now I've been like four hours on my snowmobile. I listened to some uh, crime podcast and uh, it's really cold now. It was 25 when I left home and it would surprise me if it's not 30 right now. Oh, but I'm fine. It just a little bit uh, I haven't been eating, I haven't been drinking, and I'm looking forward to get some food when I'm coming home. Now I have to continue. Now, up to the camp. Alright, now I'm done with the camp and uh, it's time to go back home with the snowmobile, the last part.
now it's time for shopping and we have a few kilometers into the town so we have to go land cruiser up here in the north we always put a you see electric plug here so the uh, let's take it back. so the engine is warm when you want to start it or the engine is not warm but it is kind of a little bit warmer at least Stina try to get rid of the ice as you hear no now it's it is Yes. Plant-based fish. So now we're heading towards my sister and all the kids and see if they can make some coffee for us. It's important to meet family and friends also sometimes. But it's smoke on the not smoke on the water, but it's smoke <laughs> smoke on the water. No, no, it's snow smoke in the air. We are just behind the car and look how it looks. If I switch on the headlight, you see, it really it can't really drive with the full light on, you see. Now we're not filming anymore. So now we're having coffee. See you later. Now I'm sitting here and looking through some of the equipment, empty memory card in my cameras and then I found a small crack in one of the props of uh, 
my drone since I crashed it in some video, previous video. I had to swap the propellers, CNS down, fixing the clothes for the guests and I packed most of the food we've been shopping. We visited my sister, had a coffee there and yeah. <laughs> You think you have a lot of plenty of time, but suddenly it's middle of the night. We still have to shovel some snow and feeding the dogs, but I don't show you that. You've seen that before. It's early morning and uh, I don't feel like 25. I feel more like 75. And you know the feeling when you are under the blanket and you don't want to go up, you just want to stay under the blanket the whole, or at least until it's light outside. But now when I look in the screen, I look like 25, doesn't I? <laughs> Tina just went outside and started the snow blower. It's had been snowing, so now she's taking away the snow while I'm packing up the last stuff. Do you have the same? Do you have a whole bunch of different kind of size on the plastic bowls and different size of the lid and you never find the lid that fit to the bowl that you want? When you have filled the bottle, test it so it's not leaking. So right here, Stina's already down feeding the dogs and probably has started the fire in the house with the clothes. I think that was all for me today. The new guests have already arrived. They are down in the cabin with Stina. Now you have seen a little bit about how the back backstage work is between two four-day tour. I'm running around here and start uh, putting all the last things into the sled. Soon we are ready to go with new dogs in front of the sled and heading out on the four-day tour. My camera battery is fully charged. I will film this tour also. So if you want to see the next video, stay tuned, subscribe and until then do some awesome stuff out in nature, camping, cooking, coffee or whatever. See you. Ciao.